Quick video could make you some bank. Check us out at traderswarroom.com. Let's check on some alerts that we cashed out for money today. SPY was crazy volatility today, so we went ahead and traded it both ways. 370 put, cashed out, $50 a contract. Guys, this is easy money. We do this all day at Traders War Room. Another trade going the opposite way, 380 call, definitely killing SPY today. We went ahead and gave you the opening, the trimming, and the closing from the cradle to the grave. Traders War Room got you covered. Things I'm watching. Guys, I'm bearish on SPY. I think we come down to test these lower levels and it's gonna be led with the big names like the Apples, the Tesla, the AMDs, and some other ones that are gonna move to the bear side that's gonna pull SPY down. Apple, got some triggers on there, but I'm definitely bearish on Apple. I think we have some downward momentum that's gonna follow the broader market. And I think Apple comes down a little bit. So definitely pay attention to the puts and see if you can make some money off the bell volatility. Amazon, similar thing with Apple. I think Amazon comes down a little bit. Yes, it's Prime Day, but guys, I don't think Amazon has enough juice with the broader market being extremely bearish with the CPI data and a lot of other things that are going on with the economics. I think Amazon follows the same suit and we see it track back down, at least to test these recent lows. Microsoft bearish, this thing's coming down. I think we see a close below 249.62, and then I'm gonna start thinking about puts, rocking this down to further down, maybe a two or three dollar movement to go test those recent lows. Now, it's not all bleak out there. I am bullish on a few stocks. So NVAX, definitely bullish. I have some triggers on here. I think we close above the top line there, and we can start looking for calls. Another one that I'm bullish on is Netflix. Guys, Netflix had some decent news with the partnership deal, and I do like these guys for a push to the upside. I got two triggers on there just in case we don't get the upward momentum to the top, but I think if we close above that top level line there at the 177.22, I think we get good at least for a two-leg strategy for some calls to the upside. JPM, 50-50 on this one, so I got the two triggers. Gonna make money no matter which direction it goes. If we close above the top, two-leg strategy for calls, close below the bottom, two-leg strategy for puts, but definitely paying attention to this as this is going to hold as a benchmark for the financial sector as a whole, in my opinion. TLT, bearish on this one with all the news that's coming out and the sentiment going long, just being so negative. I got no reason to believe that this thing is going to go anywhere dramatically up. Two triggers on here, of course. If we do hit the top level, we're looking for a two-leg strategy to the upside. However, I'm pretty confident this is going to come down to the bottom, so I'm really leaning towards the put side of the house. AMD, bearish on this one. I think it comes down to test those lower levels, so I'm definitely going with puts at the bell, trying to catch some bell volatility, ride it down and make some money. Google, I'm bearish on Google, got the triggers as normal. If we can push to the upside and get some volume underneath this, we could definitely see a nice dramatic move to the top. However, I don't think we have enough juice in Google currently right now, and we're going to slip down at least to test these lower levels and see how we hang down there at the bottom. CVX, I'm going with bull on this one. I like CVX to push out of this consolidation pattern and hopefully break to at least test some recent highs. Tesla, I'm going with the bear on this one. I think Tesla comes down, test those lower levels. As normal, Tesla's gonna be extremely volatile and you'll be able to trade this both ways during the day. But I think the majority and the main bulk of the trade is gonna be made off of puts. And let's go ahead and finish off on a good note. I think PG is in the position to break out of this kind of sideways motion that we have going on. And we're trading within a range. And I think we break to the upside and we can see this go on to try to make new recent highs. And before we finish, just a reminder to sign up for our upcoming class, How to Day Trade Trends off of multiple time frames, 24 July, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time via our Zoom classroom. Guys, if you're interested in how to simplify your charts, find trends, trade off of multiple time frames for a confirmation and get consistent profit, this is the class for you guys. Every battle needs a plan. Build your plan with Traders War Room. Hope to see you in class. Sign up today, traderswarroom.com. Guys, and that's the video. 
Quit wasting money that doesn't make money. Come trade with the Bulls with Traders War Room. Check us out, traderswarroom.com. We have tons of products and services, something for everyone and every budget. Guys, remember, we're looking at the stock market like a war zone, stocks and sector. Those are our battles. We do it together as a team, attack, conquer, and destroy, and we're always going to war. From the staff at Traders War Room and myself, thank you. If you're ready, follow me, and let's go to war together.